What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And welcome to a new modded 7 Days to Die series in Undead Legacy. This mod is packed with new features and game mechanics, including a completely overhauled crafting, research, and storage system, new weapons and vehicles, a new encumbrance system, and even a new lockpicking minigame. We are also going to be exploring the Compo Pack, a collection of thousands of fan-made POIs ranging from massive to miniature, with some having more than meets the eye. There's so much more to see and do, so without further ado, let's begin. Good morning, my friends, and here we are in Undead Legacy. Been looking forward to this playthrough for a long time. So, the beginning quest is a little bit different than usual. So, duffel bag goes down. Inside this bug out bag is a just an assortment of starting supplies, including uh, repair kits, painkillers, first aid bandages, bring those down. We have a pistol, and I believe there's like uh, 10 or 20 rounds and some blue boots, blue jeans, and a blue shirt. Now what we can do is um, the starting quest. So things are basically the same. We gotta, gotta go over here and like start punching plant fibers and you know breaking rocks and getting wood and all that stuff. Okay, here we go. So this is the carpenter's table. This is the beginning workstation that allows you to basically chop wood. So you, basically you get logs. You can turn logs into planks and scrap wood or firewood. Firewood being the best for campfires. Also just made a bow and we got some arrows to make probably. Yeah, we'll make a couple of those. And ropes. We need lots and lots of ropes because ropes are used to make primitive repair kits, of which I think I already did make one, and that's how you're going to repair the stone axe and things like that. So, there's some small game jumping around here. Let's see if we can capture a couple of them. I don't have any arrows yet, so it might just be a matter of just uh, trying to sneak up and ambush them. So, you can see the snow biome here. I've custom created this map to be. Basically, the snow biome, there's one snow city up in the north, but for the most part, it's just going to be snow in the mountains. Also, burned biome and radiation will be in the craters, which are kind of scattered all over the place. Come on. Come on. Got him. Okay, well, that'll be dinner tonight. There's some rope right there. Interestingly, you can basically pick up anything that you want in this world. And then what you can do is you can put it back down and use it as your own storage container. And another thing you can do is click this button right here, broadcast storage for crafting. And so if this was a little bit closer to the workstation, I think, I don't know what the radius is, but the workstation, when you craft things, it would automatically pull things directly out of the storage that you have. So it makes crafting and setting up like a crafting chain super easy. Just a little bit faster than you are there, buddy. Okay, the other thing we're going to play with on this playthrough is the Compo Pack. And the Compo Pack is a collection of user-made POIs, and one of them is this one right here. I've been here before, I've played the Compo Pack before. The, the benefit is there's a lot more variety to the world, more interesting things to explore and to find, and sort of just showcase some of the work that the community is putting into the game. But the drawback is that some of them are incredibly dangerous. Let's see if I can eyeball any of them. Oh yeah, Stallion's Den. If you see anything with Stallion's Den on it, that you cannot go there until you have lots of guns and ammo. So yeah, you have to just kind of keep your wits about you and don't underestimate the danger of some of these POIs. Conveniently, you can use the E button to harvest everything up. Got a police cruiser here I'm going to search because... Oh, it's locked. Well, I have lock picks. We can try and pick it. So we got a new lock picking mini game here. So you could just auto pick, but I like to try to do this myself. This is a lot like the Skyrim lock pick system. Oh, did I get it? Oh, almost. Ah, there we go. Okay, so police cruisers have a good chance. I pulled like police batons out of them before. Yeah, there's a police baton. Nice. And some chicken soup, which I'll just go ahead and eat right now. Okay, so I do kind of have my eyes here on these hay bales. Yeah, of all things, is there... It looks like a cement mixer, trying to see if there's a zombie over there. So I can pick these hay bales up. I suppose I could just harvest them as is. 
But what I want to do is just scrap those because look, that 360 plant fiber, that'll hold us over for a good long time. Okay, uh, is everything ready over here? Yes, we got wooden planks, we've got nails, arrows, and that completes the starting quest. And that's going to send me oh, 711 meters that way. So we're going to head in that direction. And we're going to try to find a place to call home here for the first couple of weeks. Uh, one thing about Undead Legacy is that it's incredibly hard to build, especially in the early game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all five of the wood frame shapes that I can possibly make. Because they take like five nails and five wooden planks a piece. And you have to do it in the carpenter's tab table. So little bit more tricky eventually i will design and build a big horde base though it'll be kind of nice to just get my feet wet here in the mod a little bit and see see how the hordes feel see how the knights feel see how the wandering hordes feel and just sort of design a base around all of those things speaking of wandering hordes the wandering hordes are going to be set to variable wandering hordes you know you know one to two per day and their size will range from zero to thirty so <laughs> Should be an average of 15, but like good variation between, uh, you know, lackluster hordes of a couple zombies and then like big massive hordes every once in a while. So there's our five frame shapes. Basically all I'm going to be using those is for polling and making ladders and things like that. And then I will just take this. We'll pick it up. Unfortunately, this thing does weigh 50 whopping pounds and we do have a new encumbrance system. So we have to be very careful of how much stuff we're carrying and make sure that we put stuff away when we're not using it. We'll just follow this road here for a little bit and gather up supplies. And yeah, we'll just keep our eyes open for a place to live close by to the trader. Oh, look at that brass ingots. Ooh, nine mil, because I think the mongrel is a nine mil, it is. But there's like nine mil, 10 mil, 7.62, 7.92, all kinds of different ammo types in this mod. Bobby pins, I wonder if you can use that to pick locks. Ah, yes can be used as an improvised lockpick. Wow, so interesting. And then empty plastic bottles, which are gonna be important because instead of getting water from like lakes and stuff, which you can do, you can actually pull it out of like water fountains. You can pull coffee out of coffee makers. Oh, look at that zombie just fell off the cliff there. One of the really interesting features about the mod that I like, where are you going? Is that they have, what? They have randomized walking animations and so, this guy has like the Mo walking animation, but um, you know, it, it can be very surprising sometimes when a zombie that you think is going to be slow actually turns out to have like a really fast, you know, variable speed with a different walking animation and a different hitting animation and keep you on your toes. Okay, it looks like some kind of a security vehicle here, which is unlocked. That's nice. And Anything good? Rotten flesh, okay. Probably the remains of whoever occupied the vehicle last. This looks like a really nice place to like raid because look, you got all these kind of like mechanical parts on the outside. There's a generator there. I'm not sure if that could be a working generator. Let's search this car. This is actually a repairable car too. So if you like later in the game, if you research and then craft a vehicle repair kit. Oh, empty fuel can, what? Oh, that's so good, because this is how you get gas now. At least, I think. I never actually found one of these before. So, I think if you go up to a gas pump, eventually, you'll be able to... Um, is there any way to do this? See, I can repair. No. So, there's some way that you can actually fill up the containers with gas, and, and that's how you just, like, fuel your vehicles. You don't just, like, find it in gas cans, or, or I don't even think that you harvest it out of vehicles anymore. Come on, just hold still. Oh, damn it. Eat that! Oh crap, come on, get up! No, not next to the zombie! I give up. Crap! I lost- no, there he is! Oh, t into the water, are you kidding me? Ah. He's gone. Oh, Lumberjack, no thanks. Well, what do we got for time anyway? 1434, I think we have plenty of time to... Well, we need to like select a place. Okay, we could live in this barn here, that's an option. However, I feel like I just lived in a barn recently on a on a recent playthrough, so I'm gonna push a little bit closer and then we, we just gotta call it somewhere. Anything good in here? Not really, more bobby pins though. Okay, there's the trader, I can sort of see it in the distance. There's another barn nearby and a, just a couple of residential houses. Got this nice house here, that's uh, that's an option. And we've got that building there, which looks to be made out of brick, which uh, 
kind of appeals to me the most. This way it's got a wall though, which kind of intrigues me. What What is in here anyway? Oh, a pool. Can I get up there please? Come on, man. Sounds nice. Although, also kind of a big place. This looks like maybe it would be like a tier three. Let's check out this place over here. Okay, if I'm gonna go into a POI, I'm just going to briefly toss down my workstation. And of course I could just come back out here later on and pick that back up. But let's uh, see what's going on in this place. Unfortunately, I don't have any friggin' arrows left. Maybe I craft some more arrows here. Yeah, there we go, 13. There, that'll help. Oh, this is a crack -a book. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we can get old books from a crack -a book. We can also get um, like schematics and stuff like that that we can then turn into research data, which then we can use to research whatever we actually want. Oh, this guy's in rage mode. Uh, just run. This is about to break too, so I'm gonna use a repair kit on it. Also, just in case we die, maybe put down a bedroll there. And we'll talk about dying consequences at a later time. Hopefully we just don't die, how's that? The thing is, I don't wanna scrap the whole series if I die, so, you know, we're just gonna have to be extra, extra careful. There we go, old book, that's what we're looking for. A barrel extender, you know, I'm just gonna scrap that just as more of an example than anything. So that gave me research data, which if you use recipes, you can see all the things in the game that you can possibly make and all the schematics, and you can use a research table to just, you know, like, oh, I'd like to craft recog. So you just, you know, craft the recipe to craft recog, and then you can craft recog. So there's a little bit less RNG, oh, look at that wall safe you know, you'll, you'll be able to get what you want if you are willing to kind of pay the price for it you don't have to just rely on finding it out in the world so if i pick this tv up or this computer monitor mouse pc combo and i look at the sell price 21 sell price what about this desk here and that's gonna be 16 sell price although 10 pounds it's pretty heavy Filing cabinet is going to be six. Can I scrap that? I could just scrap that though into some scrap iron. Really cool system. Okay, here we have a water source. And so I'm gonna grab my bottles and there's another waddles, waddle source, water source here. So we just press E. That's gonna fill up my water with mineral water. Wow, okay. I've got a bunch of mineral water now which I will save because that's 60 water and I only need 29 right now. Rage's Guide to Archery. Ooh, removing more arrows and bolts from the target. I'll take that, although I am gonna be stingy because here early in the game, things like chrysanthemum seeds, don't need those. Okay, I've pulled out a bunch of books now. I only need five and then we can craft the research station. Leather, ooh, I got nails out of that as well. So we need the nails to make the frames. Okay, that's it for downstairs. There must be a second floor here that will hopefully have the main loot. Although sometimes, sometimes in the compo pack, there are POIs that do not have a main loot. And then there are also times where there's POIs that have like a really, really OP main loot. Oh crap, uh, hide. And so we just kind of roll with the punches. Sometimes we'll just get like crazy, crazy main loots and sometimes we won't. All right, up we go, and I like the fact that this is, uh, what is this? It's some kind of a stone or concrete. It doesn't actually tell me the hit points, which is kind of, you know, immersive. Bulletproof glass here on the sides, and there are working lights, which I also like. Just sneak up in here. So far, so good. Oh, hey! Cooking pot, nice. Oh, that's my lucky house here. Don't want to speak too soon though. Okay, shotgun messiah box in a crack a book, which is fun. I don't see anyone else. Oh, that's the main loot right there, nice. Anybody in here, I got a bathroom? Yep, okay. Oh, of course, with the hitboxes. Is that it? Ah, that's it, okay. Any good first aid? Wow, really good first aid. Hmm. Well, if I'm gonna live here, I'm just gonna leave it there, I guess. That can be our designated medicine cabinet. Look, we got a nice bathtub here with one water in it, nothing in the sink and nothing in the toilet. A cowboy hat, spiffy. And I just saw this weapons bag here out of the corner of my eye. Copper coil and some crossbow parts. What is a copper coil? That is used to make the stun baton and the stun baton repulsor mod. 
as well as speakers. Okay. Well, this is actually a really nice place. This got like a little kitchen area, a lounge area, maybe like a crafting area over here. And back in here, we got the bedroom, exercise area, and a bathroom. I think this will make a nice little starter base. We just have to probably do some investigating on how we can make this nighttime safe because at, on the daytime, zombies are just on regular walk speed. But at nighttime, they're on sprint speed. And at nighttime in Undead Legacy, from what I hear, it's a lot more dangerous than it, it usually is. So we have to be very, very careful. I'm gonna start by just knocking out the stairs. Ooh, and that's broken. Needs repairs. Fortunately, I did craft, somewhere in here, a primitive repair kit earlier. So we use that on the stone ax and we're good to go. Now this is going to be concrete because of course it is. And I don't know quite how long that's going to take to knock out. Mm, it's doable. All right, that is that. It took a long time, but we want to make sure that things are nice and set for the night. Uh, we can probably just go to the trader in the morning because we'll have to loot the trader compound anyway. So I think what I can do from here is we'll pick up the carpenter's table. We'll move it back upstairs and uh, we'll move the bedroll up. And just for the remaining hours of daylight, I think I'm just going to gather materials so that we have plenty to do for the night because the night's going to be long. There's not going to be a whole lot to do, but um, yeah, we definitely can't venture out at night. That is 100% for sure. Okay, how about this right here for our little carpenter table crafting area? Have a quick bite to eat and uh, chop down a couple of trees. And isn't there a zombie right here? I swear to God, I heard one. Yes, there's one right here. And I'm now very thirsty. Let's take that mineral water. Oh, he's upset with me. Ow. Ah, there we go. Baton weapon skill has improved to level one. So this is another mod that uses like the learn by doing system that Seven Days to Die used to have. Whereas you, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Action skills, they call it, which I really like. It would be a nice feature to have in vanilla. Apparently the reason it was removed in the first place is that it was highly abusable. And so, you know, who am I to say what would be better? But it is nice to have once in a while. You guys know how the fun pimps are with mechanics that get abused. They get patched out immediately. That is just the way that they do things. Here, I'm going to take this box because it's a nice little storage chest for us. Keep an eye on the clock. We only have about a half an hour before we got to get the hell off the streets. Ah, some honeycombs. Nice. We need five honeycombs in order to make a honey. So that, that'll that be good. Oh, there's more over there. Let's see if we can get a couple more. There's two more. Is there another stump right here? Uh, I'm cutting it real close. I would not mind being able to do that tonight. That way we have an infection cure. Nah, I don't see one. We gotta head back. So in addition to the zombies being on higher speed at night, more of them spawn than would than you would see in vanilla. So very important for us to just be inside and all buttoned up. Oh, I was gonna get a torch crafted, but we need oil. Damn. Well, we can get the campfire. Oh, we can get candles too. Yeah. All right, campfire here in the kitchen. And the best fuel for the campfire is going to be the firewood. So we'll light that up. And I can make bacon and eggs just by default, which is kind of cool. Where's my cooking grill though? There we go, not the cooking grill, the cooking pot. Just reset that and yes, we got bacon and eggs. So this weapons bag I'm going to pick up. I suppose now's as good a time as any to check the main loot here. Mm, nothing special there. Another baton and some bullets. I mean, what do you expect this stage in the game, right? Check this gun store box. Not that there's going to be a gun in it, but we got a sniper book. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. We'll just read that. And some crossbow parts, which probably at this stage are just best to be sold. So put one there. We'll put one there. The, the natural lights in here are not putting off a whole lot of light, it seems. Okay, so here's the cool thing you can do. You want to take this chest here, and we'll take this one here. Oh, look at that. Sneaky ammo pile. At this point, really, I'd benefit most from either 9 mil or arrows. What you do is you put everything down. Grab a candle so I can friggin' see something. And then you just put your ingredients into the storage, and you press this button right here, Broadcast for Crafting. And then I'll be able to see my ingredients from in here and I just pissed off a spider and he's all mad at me now downstairs great so I have to listen to this all night <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here 
I'm just going to get the inventory organized a little bit more. I think we probably put the fire out at this point. Yep, turn that off. We'll have a bite to eat, and I'm just going to, you know, kick back and relax for the rest of the night. We'll pick things up at dawn. Just like that, it's morning, and I just heard the screeches of a whole bunch of zombies dying, including that damn spider, which has been downstairs all night long. A couple more dying. Yeah, they're dying left and right now. So, let's spend our skill points, because uh, if I don't do it now, I will continue to forget. And what I was looking at is, like, look at all the bladed weapons you can get. There are some swords, katanas, machetes, combat knives, and I looked at all the other weapons, and it seems like... Undead Legacy has more new blades than any other sort of class of weapon, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm very comfortable as a, an agility player anyway, and so let's do probably two into agility. I want this first one into deep cuts because bleeding enemies will then run 10% slower, and you can stack up the bleeding wounds a little bit more. And uh, Flurry of Blows... I don't think so because that's just gonna make us use stamina faster and so to get around that I will take one into strength that way I can get that one point into sexy t-rex eventually and so primary is gonna be agility secondary is kind of up in the air so if you have a suggestion something you'd like to see or something that you think would kind of go well with an agility build then let me know and I'll have a look so let's see what we have to do here today we have lots of stuff crafted here lots of wood i've got things relatively well organized and man there are zombies all over the place downstairs probably should just go take care of them first before they wreck the place all right well let the dance begin hey bleeding kills uh seem to work pretty good i got two bleeding kills in that little round there so that should inflict two bleeding wounds. That's three. That's the most I can have, as far as I can tell. And then we just let him bleed and kind of kite him around until he turns into rage mode. And then we gotta kind of whack him down more. Just let him bleed out. Let him bleed out. Goodbye. Okay, so now that we're downstairs, wasn't there some water in here? There is. Get two mineral waters from that and then none from that. Okay, so what can I steal and then take to the trader with me this morning? Oh, crap, the spider. Where is he? Where is he? Gotta be real careful around these guys. There he is. Oh, why do you gotta move all laterally? It's hard to hit moving targets unless you're moving straight for me. Here we go. Ah, bleed. Another one out. There he got me. Okay, just let him bleed. Whoa. Ah, yeah, got him. Okay, where was I? Oh my god, I can take the crack book sign. Wow. That's only worth four coin, though, and I can't scrap it. Just put it back. I wonder if I can pick this safe with a bobby pin. My lock picking level is zero and not high enough to pick this level 75 lock. Oh, I can't even use the regular lock picks on it. That's a shame. Slurp down these couple of boiled meats. I don't think I need to be carrying like two gallons of water on me today. But anyway, I've got a smattering of like trash cans and shopping carts and shopping baskets and crap that we can go sell to the trader. And I don't think there's anything really left to loot here, so let's head over. By the way, how about that view there? Look, there's a Deshong Tower and a some kind of a factory, it looks like. What a cool view. You know, if I had to build a horde base with a good view, I think I'd select this little riverfront right here. Yeah, how about that? There's the new compo pack POI, like the... Um, Space Needle kind of thing or whatever. I think that's some kind of a new skyscraper. Yeah, this might be the plan. Find some nice lakefront real estate, maybe up there on that little peninsula out there. Holy crap, I need to get rid of this damn spear. It's terrible. All right, who do we got here? Hopefully not friggin' wrecked. If it's wrecked, I swear to God, I'm gonna re-record this episode. No, this is a new trader. Well, that's exciting. Let's 
find out who's in charge here. It looks like Captain Ellen here is the boss, and over here on the left is Sergeant Maxton. Got the brains and the bronze of the operation. Well, it's nice to meet you both. My name is Private Temreki, and I'm reporting for duty. I hope you guys are recruiting because I can't help but notice out here these mech warriors, these exoskeletons that you have out here in the main bay. So I would definitely like to be a part of that. How do we do that? Where do I sign up? I suppose it starts with some small jobs. Um, yeah, we got to build up our trust in this faction here. So let's start off at this small pharmacy. Take Pharmacies time. sound like a good place to uh, get awesome. some first aid supplies. So that'll be a good start for us. And let's see what she has to sell us. And she's got some gasoline. Oh, there's a meat cleaver, which is a bladed weapon. This is an E-Class. I'm not exactly sure what the progression on like the uh, quality levels are. All right, let's just lighten the load here a little bit. Yeah, that's everything I'm willing to part with and really didn't make much money at all. Oh, look at that, a Phantom. She's selling cars, that's cool. It's gonna be a while until I have 114,000 coin though. Awesome. So what do you have? This guy sells like the weapons and armor and stuff like that. Ooh, an enforcer shotgun. He's got a little bit of nine mil, but unfortunately at about 25 coin a piece, I don't think it's really worth it to buy any. Whatever you so yeah, that's settled. Let's loot her place up and see if she's got any valuables. Hey, hey fortifying grip, some extra nine mil. That fortifying grip can probably go onto the police baton being the best weapon that I have. Oh, I can also color that brown. Kind of fun. A whole ton of zombies have just wandered up here. That might have actually been a wandering horde. Oh, look at this. Oh, trader repair station. Okay, gun safe. Uh, yes, so I believe how this works is you put an item in and it will give you a cost and you can just pay dukes to repair it instead of using a repair kit. It's an interesting option to have. Okay, armor. Need to put that on immediately. Oh, hammer. Getting some good stuff here. Yeah, how about this? I don't think we have the skill to use anything like this, but it would be nice someday, right? Oh, these bobby pins are terrible. Well, on to the regular lockpicks. There we go. Ooh, full auto trigger mod, nice. Got a whole bunch of Humvees back here, which are awesome. And you can actually, oop, that's locked. You can make these in the game. These are a part of the mod. Ah, there's a fuel can right there. Good, so while we're here, we can just get some gas. I mean, might as well, right? So that gave me a gasoline can with a little bit of fuel in it. I believe if I just continue going around, I can continue collect, that's water. Here's fuel. Oh, I just put the fuel into the barrel. No, I wanna take that back out. There we go. Okay, so you could probably craft or take these and use them as storage at your own place. Man, so far this mod is just incredible. If I had to use one word to describe Undead Legacy so far, just in my experience so far and from playing it and testing and filming the intro and stuff, the one word would be polished. This is a an incredibly refined mod, more so than any other mod I've play, uh, played before. And by the way, my fuel can now is almost full. So really looking forward to getting into the real nuts and bolts of this mod in the future. Aha! Oh, wooden hunting bow. That is such a good find. Scrap the primitive bow. Oh yeah, yep, that's good. And especially because we're specking into, oh no. We're speaking into agility, but this is not actually a part of the agility tree. I think it's a part of the perception tree. Okay, well, I pretty much consider this to be fully looted. Why is there a dead body down here? That is uh, disgusting. You guys need to clean that shit up. Oh, come on, give me the book, give me the book. Ooh, scrap shotgun. Insulated liner, don't really plan on making many of those, so I will scrap them. Ergonomic grip, though, that is too good to pass up. We'll take that. Okay, so can I now, let's see, their tower going up there. Mm, ah, I wanna go up and get a look. Ooh, glad I came up here too. Ammo and a rad remover. 10 mil ammo though, so I don't really need that at the moment. There are some good submachine guns though that come in 10 mil. Ooh, weapons bag. Not much, rocket launcher parts. Doesn't seem like the biggest city. It might not even be a city. This might actually just be a town. Ooh, way off there in the distance. That is the, not a gamer, gaming asylum, I think, which is a really cool tier five POI. And uh, the church there, mm, okay. 
Okay, just dropping some stuff stuff off here at the base, and I think we can maybe get this pharmacy quest in before the end of the night. We just gotta hustle. No more distractions. I said no more distractions. Oh, geez. Speaking of distractions, what do you think's down there? Yeah, I don't want, really want to find out right now. Alright, this is the place in the shadow of a really, really big, looks like an office building, but with sandbags on the outside, which is not concerning at all, is it? Might as well check these vehicles, though, before we head in. Ah, nice, some coffee and honeycomb. Alright, let's hit this. And that, did that reset these vehicles over here? It did. I'm just gonna search them again, why not? I think I just heard a landmine go off. A little bit concerning. Scrap axe. I want to take a look at that because it's probably better than the axe that I have. Hmm, that looks pretty cool. Let's give it a try. Oh, it is very slow. Was not expecting that. And this is the new zombie loot bag system here. It's just like a little thing. Ooh, we've got a long pipe. Okay, in we go. New bow. I woke people up on the roof. Three of them. All right, time to lay some pipe. Oh, I'm trapped. Ow. Okay, get some stamina up for Joe here because he's a runner, or at least he was for a second. Party girl's here for some pipe. What's new? Okay, I think the thing to do is to get some bleeding damage on these three. Gonna get our action skills up anyway in the bladed weapons. The only problem is we have to get too close for comfort. All right, finish her off with a long pipe. There we go. That might have been everyone. Anyone back here in the back? Yes. Ah, painkiller right there. Very good. Ah, one more. Perfect. Oh, give me some good meds, please. This is terrible. That's better. Now we're talking. And I think the three zombies that bailed off the roof were from right up here, so we should be all clear. Ah, maybe not. And I'm super thirsty, so I don't really have the stamina to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think I'll just lean on the low stamina use of the knife with some bleeding. All right, what do we got here? A new pocket knife, which is just in time because the one I had was about to break. Although, don't forget, this one does have a rad remover on it. So take that off, switch it over, and grab the rest of that stuff, and let's get the hell out of here. No, let's not. There's a supply satchel that I've missed. Okay, all done. Getting late, let's head back to the trader, see Trader Ellen, turn it in and see if we get a reward or a promotion. Greetings. Awesome. What do you got here? Mm, choose one. I'll take the weighted head and a new job for tomorrow morning. How about Subway? Like uh, sandwich subway or underground subway? Because uh, those are drastically different. It does give you the preview window for a vanilla POI, but the previewer does not work for the custom POIs, hmm. unfortunately. In a couple hours left in daylight, I was kind of hoping that maybe I could find some small game to kill. Oh, there's uh, some kind of a loot over there. I'll check on that. Anything good here? Oh, some food. Nice. Oh, come on. I just get used to the primitive bow, and now I got to get used to a new bow with trajectory. There we go. Well, it's slow going when you're dehydrating to death, but we did make it back just in time. Yes, and first things first, get some water into me. I'll take a mineral water. How about that? Okay, the, the only thing I really would have liked to have done today was to get the research station crafted. But in order to do that, I'm going to need, like, a lot more paper. And I'm not... You know what? I know where I can get some paper. But man, it is going to be a huge risk if I decide to go and get it. I need one of those cardboard pallets, and there was one back at the damn pharmacy, too. Alright, what do you think? Stealth mission? Let's do this. Oh, jeez, we're completely surrounded here. This is a bad spot. Alright, I successfully made it over here without attracting any unwanted attention. And, uh, tell me I was right. Tell me that there was a pallet of cardboard boxes back here. Was I wrong? Shoot. I think I was wrong. However, 
I think we can take apart these lab boxes for the same material. There's eight paper just like that. All right, that's way more paper than we actually need. Okay, that did not attract any attention. Now we just have to see if we can make it back. I hear a wolf. Oh, there's the wolf fighting a zombie. Okay, we'll just leave him to it. Except for the fact that he's going to be weakened and then we could kill him and get all the meat. He's not very weak, actually. I'm going to risk it anyway. He's down and he delivered himself right to me. Nice. Okay, it's far from over though. Just so I'll be just piling into those spikes over there. Nice. Oh my god. I just... Th this is the cardboard that we were looking for. This is where I saw it. Oh crap. Well, better late than never. Look at that, 36 paper. That's almost all the paper that we needed in the first place. It would have saved us that whole trip over here. Well, I can see home. It's right there. We've managed to not spook one single zombie, just that wolf. And that, you know, worked in our favor anyway. All right. That's it. We made it. Ooh, shut that door. Okay, give me the research data and the paper that we have. Not the research data, the books. Oh no, I only have four books. All of that. All of that was for nothing. Tell me I've got a book kicking around here somewhere. No. Ah, well, that was an epic fail conclusion to the episode. So what I'm going to do is just get my inventory organized. And then tomorrow morning, we'll head over to the subway, which I did walk past on the way over there. That's an underground subway. So we'll have to save that for first thing in the morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy. We are the tip of the spear, raiders in the night, Avengers for all mankind. We are the Order of Steel. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. My name is Tim Reiki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching and goodbye.